Well, there's just a few knives down here. Instead of a review, we're going to do sort of a review of my everyday carry knives, sort of a rotation look here. So stand by, we're going to look at a few knives and why I carry them and why I don't carry some others. All right, as you can see, there's a wide assortment of knives on the table. Uh, this is my EDC rotation. Oh, by the way, we're missing one here. Um, I guess you could say maybe right here. Uh, the buck fluid that was just entering my EDC rotation is out uh, in Idaho at the buck factory trying to get repaired. I had a little lock issue there, so we'll wait for that one to return. In the meantime, this is my rotation. We've got larger knives that I typically carry on the pocket clip and smaller knives that I usually carry in the bottom of my pocket. Kind of have two of those in my pocket at a time, but there you go. So the undisputed king of my EDC collection would be the Spyderco Manix 2. This guy is in my pocket almost every day. Uh, this would be if I just wake up in the morning and I don't have anything set up, this is the one I'm going to grab. Uh, you know, every once in a while uh, I feel like having a change, but most days this is the knife that's in my pocket it is love the ball bearing lock love the handle love uh the the blade steel is just that s30 v is so sharp um easier to sharpen than you would expect uh still a little bit tough but but worth it um and just love the way this knife is constructed had those tell me uh that there is no way i'd carry a five ounce knife every day I love how heavy and sure this knife feels in my hand. So I carry that one all the time. So what's number two? Price range wise, this is a huge drop off. This is the SE Vespa. I carry this knife a lot as well. Um, especially on days where I'm going to be beating it up more because I don't want to beat up my Manix. Um, this knife right here uh, is the, uh, like I said, the SE Vespa. It is a very solid knife, sharpens pretty easy, holds an edge pretty well, um, love, that, love the handle, love the, love the, love the lock. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of a frame lock, um, and it's just very lightweight knife, uh, but still very solid in the hand, great for cutting, uh, just a terrific knife, so I carry that one a lot. Um, and then... Another one here is the Gerber Air Ranger. Again, a huge price range difference. Um, but this one here, and it's the only serrated or combo blade uh, that I carry on a regular basis. Just very lightweight. Uh, there is no liners in there at all. Just open construction with the, uh, with the FRN scales. Uh, very lightweight knife. Uh, very slick. Uh, like it a lot. Hides very well in the pocket as well. And then over here are three Kershaws. Yeah, well, giving a lot of love to Kershaw, aren't I? So I'm going to take the first two in a moment, and I'll go with this back one. This is the Kershaw Oh So Sweet. I just absolutely love that blade shape. Uh, this guy, you know, like I said, again, this one does have liners. It is a liner lock. Um, nice and solid here. Uh, but I just love that blade shape. I love the speed, the speed safe opening as well but I'm a big, big fan of that blade shape. So that one's in my pocket a lot. And then these two, I kind of will put them up together. This is the Amplitude, and this is uh, the, the Cryo. And uh, just, I've had these this one for a while, and I just had this one recently. As a matter of fact, hopefully you've seen my review. If not, go watch it. Um, so these two are very similar. The blade shape is completely different. Um, but as far as the... The steel and the stainless steel, um, you know, the stainless steel frames and the locks, they are extremely similar knives. Uh, love the way that they feel in their hand. They're a little bit smaller maybe than the Manix and the Avispa, uh, but they are very nice for carrying on a day-to-day -day basis. So what about these three back here? Uh, i got to go with the classic first. This is the Buck Stockman. It's a small Stockman. Um, I carry this one as a secondary knife quite often. So there you go with that. You, you're familiar with a Stockman. You gotta have one classic Stockman in your collection. So there you go. <laughs> this is a Spyderco Ambitious. Um, this also, nice lightweight knife. It does have liners. It is a liner lock, 
Very small blade, but again, it is a perfect secondary carry option because it, you know, it's it's fairly lightweight. And then last, um, this one's in my pocket almost as much as this one's in my pocket. Um, I pretty much this is the combination that's in my pocket nearly every day. So this is obviously the Manix, and this is the CRKT Pizzota. Uh There you go, little tiny guy, sharp as a razor. Uh, absolutely love this knife. <laughs> very uh, rugged and it's got that tactical look to it but it's just a small it's perfect as a backup secondary knife for whatever you need it for so there are the assortment of knives and uh, I hope you get some fun out of watching what my everyday rotation looks like so if you have any questions or suggestions that something I should do differently please write it in the comments box and thanks for watching again. Please like and share and have a good day.